I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm not. I refuse. You want to know why? Well, it's because I've pretty much started this journey literally about two weeks ago. So I may be like a lot of you where we've all set up our, you know, YouTube accounts and we were saving our subscribe videos for the past couple of years. And yep, yeah, and you know, if I look back, I think I joined up to YouTube back in 2016. And so, you know, because I'm you know, kind of in, inspired by, you know, like your, your Joe Rogans and uh, yeah, your Joe Rogan and uh, Joe Rogan. So, but at the same time, I'm never going to be him. So I'm completely aware of that. An amazing trend that's been happening over the past two weeks that I've noticed alone when I've been in the process of pretty much setting everything up and literally learning this on the go with all the old mobile phones I've had for setting up my cameras and then purchasing some lighting. Um, you know some cost effective mic setups um, and the amazing thing is is this suddenly I'm starting to see clips when I'm looking at more of the creators and a lot of them are quitting and I'm like oh okay so what does that say for me and my journey of what I want to do and it's just like well I guess in some ways you know when you actually look into their reasoning behind for quitting it's probably because there's an element of that they're over it and usually they say within you get if you get the seven year itch it's time to move on so Chances are it's no different to any other job they've had in the past and it's time for them to find another endeavor or to downscale which is what a lot of them seem to be doing because they're realizing now that well you know I'm going to take a break from it because the amount of time that they spend setting up videos and you know the whole creative element behind the scenes uh, seems to be quite overwhelming but at the same time like that's to be expected I guess if you're going to put all your eggs in one basket so yeah I'm not quitting I'm just starting but I you know I think we can learn a lot from a lot of what they're uh, sharing online, which is fantastic. And at the same time, maybe myself, part of a new generation of uh, YouTubers, vloggers, vloggers, podcasters, content creators in general, that might be able to give something new to the masses. So either way, I'm here for the journey, enjoying it right now. So as I said, my interest in wanting to be able to do a podcast has spawned over the past two years. And I just thought to myself, now, now it's time to actually make a decision and get into it and have a go. So, and that's the thing. And one thing that's I find very interesting with all the other podcasters that they seem to, to do a lot of different areas as well so but at the same time some people say keep it niche so that's what I've began to realize that I want to put my eggs in a couple of baskets with regards to different topics and things that I actually like but at the same time it might be a better idea for me to actually just focus on the one thing which would be podcasting uh, I ideally want to get the friends from the past in my uh, in my amongst my circle and find out what makes them tick and you know the, the, I think that we all have those that those unique individuals within our circles that have a story to tell that maybe even I don't even know about so and I think that's an, an important thing because we're constantly putting ourselves in a situation where we're trying to find a way to be connected uh, not only within ourselves but with those in our lives also so keeping that in mind it's going to be a bit of a process at the same time I'm learning you know, I'm all new to this as well which is fun um, I do have a, you know, a full-time job I work as a support worker in Australia so that basically means it's um, helping people get out into the community that may have mental health issues and comorbidities that in create difficult for them to do what you and I take for granted with it with regards to like doing the shopping or taking care of finances or social being able to get out in public being able to feel comfortable with you know with it within their own lives because of the stress and the trauma that they've been through previously so that's my full-time gig and um, a lot of great experiences that I've been able to to witness and, sh and uh, be part of with those clients as well. But at the same time, it's it's more about being able to, it's all about trying to find some type of commonality with it all. So looking forward to being able to suss that out overall. But yep, I'm not quitting. This is my you know hobby. This is another hobby and interest that I've had, you know, like many over the years. And I'm finding it very interesting. And if anything, I'm still at pretty much the planning phase of it. So you may see on my page uh, as of January, 2024 that I have content on there that I've been able to create over the past few weeks and that gives me the ability to be able to kind of like really understand how to use specific editing software like uh, Adobe Premiere for example which is quite comprehensive and a massive learning curve at the same time but the tools that at hand for the purposes that I want to use it for are quite applicable so it's about like what a lot of other youtubers say finding a workflow that works for you and doesn't lead to burnout because if anything that's the general gist of what i get from 
listening to everyone else doing their podcasts. They've, they've put all their eggs in one basket. They've made it that their primary job and at the same time, as much as they've had the, the success that they've had, they've realized to themselves, well, you know, I want to move on to another venture in life or downscale it somewhat. And that's completely noble and that's fantastic. So, but yeah, be sure to utilize a lot of their channels that with their content because a lot of the knowledge that they have is, is absolutely fantastic. So if anything, there's a couple of mentions. I highly recommend um, looking at Marcus Jones. Marcus Jones is been able to very clearly explain how the back end of YouTube works with regards to the different analytics, different types of settings that you should have as a new YouTuber to get more likes, to get your content out there. And I must admit, I'm quite surprised that even though with the amount of numbers that I've had right now on um, my page, yeah, I can see the traction and how it's actually starting to formulate, which is actually very interesting. So yeah, you can get a little bit addicted looking at the analytics, you know, almost every day or, or every couple of hours to see exactly what type of hit you're getting. So, um, yeah, really looking to his content, very clear, very concise. And I think he's actually Aussie as well, which, makes, which is like even better. But um, yeah, that's the way it is. And also looking to Marcus Brownlee. He's right on the money with regards to what I said earlier, with regards to people that you know, they're just, just they're downsizing with what they want to actually do in terms of content. And at the same time, you know, they may just want to a different venture in life so that's 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 fine now go ahead and do that so um very wise man very good to actually listen to another mention as well pewdiepie everyone's pretty much well aware of who pewdiepie is and yeah he's taken a step back still doing a little bit of content but at the same time yeah good on him thanks for everything another person i came across was also zadenka darula here at insight into not only her past life with regards to being very much into photography and videography which then led to a hobby and interest uh, with YouTube was actually quite insightful as well so um, because she puts a strong emphasis on how even though it's a hobby and interest with a lot of things that you know with the natural evolution of what you're doing um it's also mindful to create balance which is essential as well so so overall the key takeaways uh for this video for me these guys were part of a generation that actually solidified what youtube actually is for a lot of um youtube creators that are out there right now and people like myself also so maybe it's just our time maybe we're just the natural evolution of what youtube will be um who knows what other streaming websites are out there that are going to dominate in the next 10 15 years but otherwise we're here for the journey so i hope you are too Thanks again for watching. Hey, it's Brett from the Harpcast here. Hope you really got something out of that video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you on the next one.